So, I'm out for a ride on the auto motorcycle today, just putzing around. Sometimes, you know, you don't have to have a goal. I could work on the rock at my house. I tell you, you don't ever get a house with rock. And, uh, man, I came across this. It's a conservation area. I just, just riding around. So, we're going to check it out. Check, look at this. So, it looks like a trail. And I swear, I don't, nobody's ever mentioned this to me. Nobody, I bet most people that live here in central florida don't have a clue you see there's one car here and uh who knows we'll get to that sign back there and just wanted to show you the the motorcycle and see now here's the problem i still can't get that storage thing for the back and that helmet doesn't fit underneath the seat so i'm i'm screwed i got to carry it with me what i'll do is i'll find a place up here in the forest and uh we'll just hide it cool looking helmet though huh all right so let's get going so if you want to look this up, I'm at 11180 Southeast Highway 464C, gate number 3213. All right. So here's the sign. This is the, I thought I was pronouncing that wrong, but it is the Chernobyl Memorial Forest at the Oak La Waha Prairie Restoration Area. And it says this portion of the uh, I won't try to pronounce it. Prairie Restoration Area was designated as the Chernobyl Moore Memorial Forest on March 29th, 1996, in honor of the survivors who lost their lives during the April uh, 1986 Chernobyl nuclear disaster in Ukraine. So I'll let you read the rest of it. But here's the uh, here's the map, and we have a horse stand here, so I guess horses are allowed back in here. Um, let me get you on that map for just a second. You can pause right there and let's go for a hike. Well, it's pretty wide open back in here, but I haven't found, <laughs> I haven't found a good place to hide the helmet that I'm going to be able to find it again. It's, uh, you can see it's just kind of wide open and that red is going to just stand right out. If anybody, there was that one car back there, but, uh, I mean, it's not heavy or anything. I just would assume just to enjoy the hike this is kind of what it looks like here uh it's a nice day i mean geez might as well get a hike in i'll probably only do a couple miles i'm i'm still beat up from working on the florida trail the other day a few days ago i couldn't man i couldn't even hardly bend over yesterday that's uh that's hard work cutting in that trail but uh really beautiful you know nobody knows about this i i i'm Never heard anybody mention the Chernobyl forest ever And uh, I just hadn't been down this road because you know when you're driving a car getting 30 miles to the gallon You know, you don't want to do a whole lot of exploring it gets expensive But when you're getting a hundred miles or 104 miles to the gallon What the heck let's just go and see what's around me in the in the area and go down roads I've always looked at and went man. I wonder where that road goes uh, by the way, I, that auto motorcycle, it's just, uh, when you get in that loose sand, it just is hard to get through it, and uh, it's very unstable. I know I'm going to take that thing over one of these days, but uh, we'll get, if I see anything unique, we'll get some video. It's just kind of swinging around. Really, really beautiful. Man, you know, who wants to hike around the community and look at houses when you can come back in here and enjoy a treasure like this? All right, let's uh, let's just stop, stop it right there. I think I see where I can probably tuck that helmet up in here somewhere. I got to get a marker though. Maybe well, there's a red mark on that tree. All right. So we got a little bit of a different look here. Man, what a treasure! I'm definitely gonna bring my wife back here. This is this is her style of hiking. <laughs> You know, wait, well, it's funny how you contrast things. Although I did come across some bear poop back there, so there are bears back here. But, uh, you know, just me. You saw that one car, I, that's it. I guess most people around here just don't even know that this exists. So let's keep on going. Pretty nice. God, what a beautiful day. So we've come to a fork. And there's the red dot on the tree, and there was a sign back there. I believe this is just going to loop around be a short hike but it'd be interesting to come back and hike that but i'm uh i'm more into the motorcycle ride today or the auto motorcycle 
than I am hiking. I just saw this and said, well, hell, let's check it out. So uh, very, very nice, very easy hike. Uh, if you just want to do a little day hike, uh, boy, this would be just beautiful if you, if you ever visit or live here in Central Florida and watch any of my videos. It's a hidden treasure for sure. And uh, it's, uh, man, I tell you, and, and, you know, nobody here, just me. So you don't have to worry about that virus, do you? <laughs> That's just going to blow in off of that tree right there. There we go. All right. See, here's another trail going to the left. Man, you could really spend a few days back in here and just enjoy yourself with a leisurely hike like this. I, I'm going to stay on the red trail because I'm going to loop around and get back to the motorcycle. All right. So here's a different look for you. Kind of kind of nice, isn't it? Well, isn't it funny? You know, every time I go out, <laughs> it's always something. That sun is just cooking my head because there's not a whole lot of shade here. And man, it wouldn't have taken two seconds to throw one of my floppy hats underneath the motorcycle and seat there and have it have it along just in case I found something like this. But who who would have thought? Just out for a ride, didn't you come across this? Actually, the video I was going to make, I was going to go around and show you all the construction that's taking place with those 800 people a day moving to Florida. They're just, there's a housing boom, a, a retail boom. I mean, you know, everything is just massive amount of construction going on around here, which is kind of depressing because I, I love the feel of, of being like in the country. And uh, it ain't going to be country very long when, when they're just building to accommodate all those people moving to Florida, the free state. Hopefully we'll stay free. I hope to God they're not Democrats and vote vote in the uh, uh, high taxes and, you know, everything they do up in Connecticut and Massachusetts and New Jersey and New York and California. I mean, who who the hell wants to live there, in my opinion? But, I, you know, uh, we do have a lot of people from there here living in Florida. I just hope they're not voting for, for high taxes and Democrats. But, you know, that's just my opinion. I like DeSantis. I think he's a good governor. Hey, I want to get back on to uh, resilience real quick. And, uh, you know, we talked about that the other day. And one thing I didn't even cover was, you know, get a, you eliminate the noise in your life, you know. So, if, for example, you know, I go to go out with people and all of a sudden their phone's ringing. And it's ringing and they go, oh, it's another junk call. It's another junk call. And, uh, you know, there's ways to block those numbers. Now, I take great joy in blocking those numbers because every time you know you get a recent call list I go up online through Project Fi and I just say block and I type in the number and boom I probably have over a thousand numbers blocked there and do you know how often my phone rings now hardly ever I have had two junk calls in the last week maybe I, I'm not even sure because I remember blocking those two numbers and uh, so you know that's that's one way another way that I recommend doing is get rid of all that junk mail. You know, the, I know you, some of it you can't. You, the post office will not do a return to sender on a lot of the junk mail. And so then you just screwed and, you know, just bring it in, throw it away. But uh, anything that you can return to sender, especially those credit card offers, although I don't think you're going to be seeing that much anymore. The banks don't want to lend because they, they can't, you know. <laughs> it's just the Fed has got that printer going you know, on warp speed, you know, printing off trillions of dollars. And so the banks are having a hard time lending money because they know they're not going to, you know, those loans are going to go bad. And they, anyway, I think the Fed will just take over the banks. Uh, although I did hear recently an insurance company bought uh, Bitcoin, which was, that's very interesting. So and that's another, you know, so there's, so resilience, you know, block those phone numbers, anything that's noise in your life, like consolidate those investments, you know, you, the brokers I use are Fidelity, and I still have an account at E-Trade, which was, I think it was bought by Morgan Stanley here recently, and I should just move that over to Fidelity, but uh, then then I'll have everything at Fidelity, which is good and bad, you know. You, I don't like having all my eggs in one basket, but, uh, you know, Fidelity, Vanguard, those two, uh, if you want a broker, they're very good. I used to use Scott Trade, but... Uh, I don't know, I can, couldn't recommend them. Fidelity's got those free mutual funds, and when we do get a nice stock market crash, you know, and I'm, I'm talking about 50% or more pullback in the stock market, that's gonna be a good time if you got your list 
of things to get to pull that trigger. You know, like a PRWCX, that's a nice mutual fund that unfortunately I got out of because I just thought, man, the stock market's going to crash. Well, no, of course, I did not know that the Fed was going to print trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars. Remember when that used to be billions? <laughs> that that printer must be on fire, you know, or they're typing them digits into those computers as fast as they can. They add a zero every 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 now and then. Soon it'll be a, an exabyte, you know, a pentabyte. We'll go into penta penta tri, penta trillions or whatever you want to call it. All right. So uh, and then you know. Uh, that's about it. Let's just uh, wait till we see something else. But boy, what a nice hike, huh? Isn't this great? All right. Well, unfortunately, this is a long hike. Uh, or say fortunately, I can't wait to come back and do the whole thing. But the sun is staying to the west of me, which means I'm not looping around. I am just getting further and further. <laughs> along. So, uh, I mean, every time I think, well, it's going to turn this way, no, it's just continuing, so that's great. So we'll come back and do this again someday and, and do the whole thing. I just, uh, I really don't want to drive home in the dark and I want to enjoy my, my auto motorcycle for a little while longer. So we'll take it on in. Uh, you know, another thing about resilience, and I was, you know, my wife, uh, of course she knows I'm crazy, but, uh, you know, we've got just a couple of examples. So I had this rock garden around my, mailbox that the previous owner had put in and obviously there was no barrier underneath the rock and so it was just every summer that just becomes a weed factory and uh and my, i had the lawn service pull it up but i don't pay them guys to pull weeds they just cut the grass and so they've been doing me a favor and i said you know one of these days i got to take care of that so i got out there with the saw horses and i took all that rock up and uh, just mixed it in with the other rock that's around the house and and then I put down some, some good good soil, good black dirt, some peat moss, and I put a couple of little plants, nothing that's going to get very big, and then mulched it with the uh, eucalyptus mulch. And uh, by the way, if you're listening, the eucalyptus mulch, it's very good because I was also getting fire ants in there, and uh, that's supposed to be pretty uh, bug resistant. So I don't think I'll be getting the fire ants around my mailbox like I used to. And so now I, I eliminated a maintenance nightmare. I'll never have to pull weeds up there. I'll just have to put, throw down a little mulch every now and then, which takes just a couple of minutes. So that's an example of, you know, things you can do to simplify your life. You know, another one that I'm doing is they put rock in the back. Well, we got these huge oak trees that hang over top of the house, and they just dump leaves and sticks. And, you know, so, of course, that rock is turned into just a, a weed factory. And, in fact, you can't even keep up with it. You can't pull the weeds fast enough. And so I'm, I'm in the process of taking all that rock out and uh, eventually I'll put down uh, mulch because you do want a barrier between the, I have a bird cage, which is just a screened in porch really. And uh, they call them bird cages here in Florida. And uh, so I'm gonna take up all that rock and, uh, and then, you know, once I mulch it, I won't have to maintain it no more. Now it's a big project. I'm eating the elephant one bite at a time and in fact, if I get home, I'll probably just take the motorcycle on home. You know, I'll spend every day, I'll spend a couple hours working on getting that rock. My wife's like, why are you wasting all your time? I said, well, guess what? I'm saving time in the long run. You know, that's, that's the thing that we don't do as a nation. You got to look at the long road, not the short road. Everybody wants that short-term profit or that short-term, you know, whatever, you know, throwing the rock down. I... I bet it took them, you know, all of a couple hours to dump all that rock in my backyard. You know, no, probably laughing at the previous homeowner, going, man, you're going to have a weed factory for sure with, the <laughs> with what you've done back here. So, all right, that's enough video for today. And, uh, man, I can't wait to come back and see where all this goes. Man, it just trails all through here. What a treasure, holy moly. And once we, uh, like I said, I, everything's not about the Florida Trail. There's also a couple of really good hikes up in Gainesville. And uh, I have to go up on the 12th to go to the VA. And uh, so I'm, I'm hoping that, that I'll be able to just get out of there quickly and head on over and do, I got one trail in mind, it's right on uh, 441. And I've passed it in my car. But uh, that day, you know, the, Unfortunately, it got away from me, and I wasn't able to uh, 
to, to hike it. So that'll be a nice hike. And there's just all kinds of trails around here. Greatest place on earth, I think, to hike. I, I love it. Man. Something making noise over in the weeds. All right, let's get on back. At, that's it for today. Hope you guys are having a happy new year. This is New Year's Day. And uh, I'm really, really happy to be out and enjoying uh, the freedom that we have here in Florida. Talk to you later. It pays to wish people a happy new year. There's a woman walking her dogs, and uh, I got to talking to her, and, uh, you know, I didn't even notice this. Sometimes you got to look at the map. See, we are right here, okay, and this is the trail. She said it's about 3.5, I'm going to guess 4 miles. Uh, I was up in here somewhere that I had to turn around, and, uh, but then she said, oh, you know, just down the road, there's another trail, and uh, that's really long. Well, look at this. So we're going to go down uh, 464C, and I want to see if I can find this entrance right here. I'm not going to hike it, of course, because it's getting going to get dark on me. But look at this trail. That is a lot of trail to hike. All within, you know, what, half hour of my house, maybe less. This is awesome. All right, so let's go to see if we can find that trail entrance. Uh, like I said, it's always good. There's the auto motorcycle. Two big guys haven't picked it up and thrown it in the back of a pickup truck and I got some water in there and some protein bars this time I did add that note to self put the hat in there and let's get on the road so in the words of Arnold I'll be back so that's the Akalawa Prairie Restoration Area South Trailhead and uh, let's see what this says public small game hunting area entrance so uh hmm, so this is what it looks like i don't know that looks like i just a drive there let's hike around just a little bit to see if we can find the trailhead but probably well that's got to be it right over there because that's where all the cars are so we'll be back so now I'm just going to enjoy riding the auto motorcycle for a little while. Boy, I tell you, when you get up to <laughs> 60, 65 miles an hour, it feels like you're going to blow right off that thing. It's uh, it's pretty intense. Not to being a motorcycle rider, it's a little get takes a little getting used to. All right, that's it for the day. So you know me, curiosity is going to kill this cat one of these days. I just uh, I was going my way out and I thought, you know what? I'll take a second to ride over here. So this is what I uh, just wanted to see the sign. Man, I tell you, isn't that great to have something like this so close by? I didn't even know about it. So this is uh, this is the map. And uh, boy, look at that! That's a lot of hiking. That's going to be that's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, here's what it, the St. John River Water Management District purchased this property in 1991 to restore more than six miles of the Upper Oak La Waha river and 2,600 acres of marshes. Wow. The 1920s, oh yeah, they talk about the canal. Everybody, everybody talks about the canal. So I'll let you read the rest of it. And uh, that is definitely it for the day. Another horse stool. So I guess horses are allowed on this trail. And that's the trail going off that way. Can't wait to hike it someday. Cool. On second thought, I wanted to get a selfie of me in the helmet. Because I've never seen myself in the helmet. <laughs> How do I look? Hmm. Cool. Got the. There you go. And there. Do I look mean now? So just out riding, came down a dirt road I never seen. Man, I tell you, you wouldn't want to take a car down it. No way. But the auto motorcycle handled it just fine. And then what do I find here at this? This is another entrance to the uh, Prairie Park is an outback that's what i want to get so bad my wife doesn't want the super i like the forester too and then over here you got a forerunner don't want to get the license plate now these vehicles can make it back here but i wouldn't want to be in a regular car so let's just see where we are we are at 7910 southeast 137th avenue road gate 3221 all right and i'm frightening some people that are walking up seeing me taking a video so just thought I'd get a picture of the the Tour de France. Man, didn't that look cool just sitting out here in the middle of this field? And uh, man, I walked all the way down to that sign. 
and it doesn't say you are here on it. <laughs> it just shows a map of the area, which is kind of silly. But anyway, just one last shot. Thought that looked cool. So I just kind of wanted to show you why I bought the auto motorcycle. That's the road I came down, and I saw that sign a couple miles down in here, and then the road keeps on going that way. It reminds me of northern Michigan, you know. I used to go up there and just pick a road out and just get on it and ride and just see where it went. That was back when I had my uh, Ranger pickup truck. And uh, someday I'll come back. I'm not going to go that way today. I'm just going to head on home. But uh, really cool. Really enjoying getting out and adventuring and just seeing what's around, you know. And uh, nothing. I mean, not a house, not, nothing. No structure on this road, nothing. It's just back here in the woods, which is really, really cool. I love it.